What's up, CFO gang? It's your boy, Jay Tuck. And we are back with another draft prospect profile. And it's time to get into it. Mr. Traylon Burks, wide receiver out of the University of Arkansas. And he is a weapon of mass destruction when it comes to the offense. And we know, and we know, Jerry Jones loves his Razorbacks. And uh, Traylon Burks is scheduled to have an interview with the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, my guy, Rome, Cowboys Fan Talk. If you do not know who that is, well, you need to get familiar. Um, go to his YouTube channel, Cowboys Fan Talk. Definitely subscribe because he's killing out there. But this is his favorite prospect. We had a long phone call yesterday. He's like, Tuck, tell me about Burks, man. Am I, am I tripping? Am I tripping? And I said, bro, don't worry. I got you. We're going to take a look at it. So that's definitely what we're about to do. But Philon Burks, 6'2", 225 pounds. A junior wide receiver out of the University of Arkansas. And I know a lot of people are, are kind of on the line when it comes to Traylon Burks because they're looking at the combine number, right? The combine number. He ran a 4-5 and all these sexy wide receivers running 4-2s and 4-3s. And, and they associate that with Traylon Burks not being able to play football. And as I always say, use the combine as a supplement. It's not the tell-all be-all, right? Because at the end of the day, you got to be able to go out there on the field and make things happen. So it's a supplement, right? It can give you an idea. But what we really go with is the film. We're going to about to watch that here in a second. So um, he had 66 receptions last year for 1,100 yards, 11 touchdowns. When you watch Traylon Burks, the main thing that stands out is yak. Yak, yak. He's hard to tackle, man. He's hard to tackle. Um, he, he runs hard when he has the ball in his hands. He is one of those players. You just have to get the ball in his hands and let him do his thing. He can play all over the field. Now, primarily in Arkansas's offense last year, he played in a slot, which we'll watch here soon. But he can play X. He can play in the backfield. He can go and get 50-50 balls. He has a big frame. So he can do a lot of things. Isn't the best route runner, right? Doesn't have a, a quite developed route tree. So, you know, that's my conversation. If you see me on Twitter, it's like, okay, if we're going to plug him in specifically with the Dallas Cowboys as a slot, he really doesn't kind of fit the slot mold that typically we look for. And so that's why the conversation has been kind of back and forth with Traylon Burks is because we got CeeDee Lamb. We know who, who what he is and what he's going to be. We re-signed Michael Gallup. You also have Dalton Schultz. So are you going to take a wide receiver? to pretty much be your fourth option in your offense at 24, it remains to be unseen, but make no mistakes about it. Traylon Burks is going to be incredible at the NFL level, and he has to be involved heavily to really make that happen. And my drawback when it comes to Traylon Burks, just to keep it a buck, because that's what we do. The way that you would need to use Traylon Burks to really have the impact that he should have should be how we are using City Lamb. So, you know, it's going to be interesting if he falls to us, what we're going to do about it. I'm also hearing rumors about Green Bay, possibly. Um, you're hearing the Jets. So there's a lot of people who definitely have Traylon Burke circled on their draft board, and rightfully so. So let's go ahead and get into the film. So right now, you're going to see him down bottom. He is going to be in the slot below. He's located right here. And then what he's going to simply do is just run a simple underneath route here. And you're going to see him turn up field. Like I said, he's just one of those players where you got to get the ball in his hands, let him get in space, and let him create and do his thing. That's the traffic. Turns up field. Quick first. Watch it from another angle. Like I said, he has to be involved into your offense. And if you're a Cowboys fan watching that, I, I, you know, you know, you know, you know, we struggle sometimes with getting our weapons involved. This next play here, they are in 5 wide. You have Traylon Burks down below. Inside, he's going to get a free release. He's going to come in the inside. And what you're going to see in this play is concentration, right? He's going to go between the safety and the corner and be able to secure the catch and take some punishment as well. Boom. Gets hit, still, still moving, still moving. Watch it. So right between, good catch, concentration, safety comes down, makes a hit, thumbs a little bit, but he's on his feet, still moving. It's a big frame, big frame. 
And I know a lot of people right now, the hot, the hot topic button that everyone wants to compare everybody to is Debo Samuel. Can he be Debo Samuel? Like he can really be used as a Debo Samuel in any NFL offense. I mean, he's a little bit bigger than Debo as well. Like tenacity, man. Yak, it's all there. It's all there. Like I said, I would not be mad if we added him to our offense in Dallas, but it's just like, where is he really going to fit in? That would be my question right here. He's at the X. He is up top. He's going to get outside. He's going to use his hands, create separation, goes up and use that big frame and make a play. Here to catch. Now, I know some people are saying he had some drops or whatnot. I'm really not too concerned about the drops that I've seen from Traylon Burks. It wasn't too consistent. I mean, wide receivers are going to drop the ball. And like I said, everyone is trying to compare wide receivers to Debo Samuel. Debo Samuel has some drops his damn self. So I'm not too concerned when I see from Traylon Burks. His hand fighting, great separation. Got the corner's hands on him. Turn his head around, looking at the ball, tracking the ball. It's free. Locates it. Makes the catch. Now, here is one of the knocks you see when it comes to Traylon Burks sometimes. People question, is he going to be able to create separation at the next level? Um, I think he will. Like I guess I don't think he's going to have any issues. But, you know, he comes out of his uh, off the ball a little high sometimes. So if he's going to be an outside wide receiver, right, you know, he's going to get that, that those matchups with the Jalen Ramsey's and the Gilmore's. It's going to really get up into him. And he really didn't see a lot of that at his time in Arkansas. But on this play right here, I mean, the corner just made a play. I mean, the guy just made a play. You know, I'm not too concerned about it. I mean, did he come out a little high? Yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? But it's a free release, right? I mean, honestly, the quarterback probably could have dotted him right there. You know, And that's the sometimes when you watch these wide receivers, <laughs> you know, you got to take into their consideration who they playing with, you know. But like I said, the corner just made a great play on that ball, but I'm not too concerned about it. Next play here, they are in a bunch formation. You have them on the inside. And what they're going to do is run a simple swing route. And Trey Lance is going to turn them once again, get upfield, move the chain. Good blocking too. Upfield. And you see, you see how he finishes on his run, man. Like he, he's looking to finish. He's looking to punish on his runs. You know, take damn near three people, get that man down. Like, like. Okay, so we have them. They're back in bunch formation as well. Here, he's gonna run an outside route, get free release, and turn the field. Get into the end zone. Mm -hmm. Turns up. Stiff that boy. Hit him with the stiffy. Weight rooms are free for everybody, bro. Hit that boy with the stiffy and say, get off. And that's the thing. It's like when you watch him and gets the ball in his hands, boom, boom. Now, Cowboys fans, don't shoot the messenger, but I see a little dance in Trey Lombard. I don't see the toughness and the attitude and the swagger in him but as far as the physicality and some of the things that he does when the ball's in his hands i see i see some des bryant and trey lombard des was more explosive though coming out of college he came out of ohio state next play here he is lined up as x one on one and what he's going to do is going to get off the release now you're going to see that high release again he's going to stumble a little bit gonna gather himself right and then he's gonna use his body to go up and make the catch um stumbles a little bit comes off a little high corner's able to get his hands on him stumbles a little bit gathers himself goes up makes the catch and we off to the races easy money we off to the race i know a lot of people question his four or five speed ain't nobody at bama catching him though this is Bama. This ain't this ain't uh you know uh you know uh T Tech U, you know what I'm saying? Uh now this is Bama. This is the best of the best right here. This is SEC football, and he's still off the races, didn't get caught. So like I said, when you watch the film on him, man, like not everyone is gonna be 4-2. And some of the people who checked in at a 4-2 
in the combine, they don't play like a 4-2. They don't play like a 4-3, right? It's when you turn on the bright lights and you put on those cleats and you make things happen and Traylon Burks can make things happen. Separation, here's the catch, off to the races. Now this play really doesn't turn into much, but I just want to show that he does line up in the backfield. He did that frequently at Alabama, or not Alabama, at Arkansas. Um, so he can play in the backfield a little bit. Like I said, you just want to get him involved and give him high use. Motion, back. Nick Saban says, man, nah, we had enough for you today, bro. <laughs> now nah, we had enough for you today. We had enough for you today. And this last play is going to be lined up. Oh, outside. Yes, one on one man coverage. Once again, this frame, body goes up, secures the catch in the corner in the safety. Horn didn't even get any hands on him, but you know, it is what it is. But here's the catch. No hands, no nothing. Didn't even touch him, right? But still got past the corner, inside release, goes up, makes the catch, secures the catch, takes on the hit. You know? Because at the next level, man, you're going to get some safety going to try to knock your head off, right? And so the concentration has to be there because, you know, we know all wide receivers ain't trying to make that catch right there, you know? You put it, the quarterback put it right between. Ah, you know what I'm saying? Got down. So, yeah, man, that is Traylon Burks. Like I said, make no mistakes about it. Incredible prospect. Some team is going to be lucky to have him. When it comes to the Dallas Cowboys, I just don't know how he fits. Now, if you say, you know what? We're just going to get the best player, BPA, stash him, and then we're going to move on from Michael Gallup eventually. And then, okay, I really understand it, but it's kind of hard to explain it conceptually and football-wise does he make sense at 24 for the Dallas Cowboys? I personally don't think he does. But like I said, I will not be upset, man. But let me know how y'all feel. Comment below. What do y'all see from Traylon Burks? Do you like him or do you feel like we can get other options later in the draft? Man, it's your boy, Jay Tuck. Comment, like, subscribe, turn on that notification bell because we got more draft videos coming and you definitely do not want to miss out. I want everyone to stay safe, stay blessed, stay encouraged, and have a great Saturday. Peace.